Hello, today I'm going to show you how to download an archive of all your tweets um, so you can keep everything that you've tweeted um, and analyse it if you want to. Um, so first of all you need to go to the Twitter website and sign in. Um, there we go. And then once you're into your account you need to click on this cog symbol up here and choose settings. Once you're into your settings, make sure that you're in the account tab and if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see that there's a button here that says request your archive. So click that and it'll just confirm to you that a link will be emailed to you when your archive is ready. Uh, this could take a little while, so please be patient. Uh, so that's fine. They've sent that along to me. So now all I need to do is wait for the email to arrive and I'll be able to click the link and download my archive. So if I head over to my emails, here's the email from Twitter saying that my download is ready. Um, so let's open that email. They're happy to let me know the archive is now available for download. So if you just click this button, it'll take you to the website and you'll be able to download your archive. Um, so if you just simply click the download button, it will download that to your computer. It gives you the option of opening it with archive utility which is unstuffing the zipped archive. I'm just going to save it onto my computer and then I can show you how to unzip the archive. So you can see here this is how it um, downloads. It's a zipped folder containing my tweets so if I double click that it'll open it. So this is what I'm ending up with. Now there are two ways to look at your archive. You can either um, navigate through um, a web version of it using this index.html which will open up in your web browser or you can look at all your tweets in a spreadsheet. Um, this is a, a CSV file which will work in, in things like Excel and OpenOffice. First of all I'll show you the web version so if you double click that it's just confirming that it's a web application so that's fine. And it'll show you a really nicely presented archive of all your tweets. Um, it'll do it by month. So those are all my tweets for December. And you can go back through the months here and you can see different, um, different tweets there and retweets as well. It'll tell you how many you've done that month. Um, and it'll show any pictures that you've tweeted and that kind of thing. And you can even go back through different years. So if I wanted to see what I'd done in 2011, April 2011, there it is. So it's a really nice way of uh, navigating through all the tweets that you've ever um, posted on Twitter. The other way of looking at your archive is um, to open it in a spreadsheet program. So if I double click on this CSV file, uh, which stands for comma separated, so I'll just double click on that. Um, it's just confirming the character set I want to use and um, it's previewing what it's going to look like in the program. That looks okay to me so I'm going to click OK and you'll see that it's opened up um, a spreadsheet containing all my tweets and various related information. Um, so it's got columns for the tweet ID, this is if it's a reply to anybody um, and this is their user ID. It gives you the time and date um, and then if I go across, uh, hopefully, here's the important bit. This is the text of all the tweets and you can literally go back through all your tweets that you've ever posted. Um, so that's quite good if you, if you like to keep a backup um, or an archive of the, of the stuff that you've put on Twitter.